also on tonight's bill, the run for ball heavyweight. Johnny Fisher and his fan club have made it up the M1 to take on the Czech Michael Reisinger. I'm beating people. Right, John, remember the call, mate. You stop punching and you take a step back. Don't throw punches on the back of the head. You take yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. Seconds out, round one. So the Fisher faithful in great voice ahead of fight number six in the professional career of this 23 year old who's got the potential to become one of the most captivating stories in British boxing. As Reisinger swings with the right hand in the early stages, we've seen on the bill tonight what the boxers from the Czech Republic sometimes bring to the ring. And Reisinger looking to land the overhand right in the early stages. Yeah, really letting that right hand go, Mike, isn't he? He's got to be careful, Johnny Fisher. He can't afford to pour out that jab. He's got to make sure, once he has thrown the jab, that the left hand comes back to the chin. Because you can see Reisinger is very dangerous with that shot. Really does load up with it. Three wins in four professional fights, Reisinger. Two of those have come inside the distance. Fisher trying that right hand over the top, but Reisinger has brought ambition to the ring here tonight. Also alongside us in commentary, Ebony Bridges. Ebony, what's the mood been like in camp with Johnny? Oh, it's been great, you know, watching Johnny. He's been working really hard. A lot of things that they've been working on, but he's been sharp. He always comes into camp looking really sharp. It's really good intent from Reisinger on the front foot, pushing back the bigger, stronger man. Really aggressive on that front foot, looking for that overhand right. Johnny Fisher doing the right thing, taking time, getting behind the jab, trying to get in a rhythm behind that shot, just missing with his own right hand there. Well, as you were saying, Darren, tending to place the jab rather than really ram it home at the moment. Yeah. He's just trying to measure the distance, sorry, Ebony, with that jab to look for that right hand. That's in camp, um, they've been working on, you know, being patient, taking their time. So I think we're seeing a bit of that from Johnny in this fight. Nice feints there by Johnny. Yep, you will get a reaction from Reisinger if you faint. Oh, just chopping down with that right hand. He took it well, Reisinger, more of a glancing blow. Johnny varying the trajectory with the jab, going to the body. And whipping it in the right uppercut. Applause from Mark Tibbs in the corner. That was a lovely flush right uppercut landed from Fisher. So we've already seen the toughness and the chin from Reisinger. He walked straight onto that jab. Good work to the body on the inside there from Johnny Fisher on the back of what he described as his worst performance to date last time around. Nice level changes there by Johnny going up and down to the body. Yeah, it was nice with the jab there. Oh, right. beautiful right oh, hand hand the there. From Fisher. Brilliant end to the round from Johnny Fisher. That John who's done so much work behind the scenes to shift those 1,000 tickets. That's a lovely right uppercut, he took that well, rising up. It was the shot right at the end that really stunned the, the guy from Czech. Rising up, it was a lovely shot. There's that variation with the jab that you were talking about, Ebony, planting it right into the, the body, and he got the reaction from rising up. The hands dropped, and he was lucky that it was at the end of the round. Yeah. Don't, don't waste any shots, right, boy? Move that top half. Top half. You can see uh, Mark there saying, don't waste the shots, because usually he Check comes out, out just, you know, all Round guns blazing. Into the second round, and the Czech corner playing it clever here with a delay in finding the gum shield. Jab from Reisinger at the start of the second round. 
But it's quite obvious what we're seeing from Reisinger. He is a sucker to the faint. So I'd like to see the faint with that lead hand from Johnny. Draw out that big over big overhand right from Reisinger. Just Beautiful oh, shot. Pinpoint right yeah. hand. Beautiful shot. The best shot of his professional yes. career so far. And Steve Gray, the referee, has seen enough. There's a complaint. There's a protest from Reisinger. But that was a beautiful shot from Johnny Fisher in this his sixth professional contest. He waited for the opportunity and landed the right hand, the kind of right hand that caused a problem at the end of the opening round and followed up quite beautifully at the beginning of the second. And that was a superb finish from Johnny Fisher. I feel like that right hand had landed perfectly because of the distance, that control he had of his distance. And I know that that's what Mike's been working with him. So that was beautiful control. Yeah, fantastic finish. Measuring rising over that lead hand. He landed two chopping right hands. Beautiful shot. You see there, the, the left hand comes down again. He measures the distance with that lead hand. Beautiful shot. And there was complaints from Ryan's ago, but from where I was sat, here on the comms desk, he did look very hurt and unsteady as he went down and the referee waved it off straight away. But that was intelligent from Johnny Fisher, using that lead hand there to measure and find the distance, find the range. You know if you can land that lead hand, you'll certainly follow up and land with the right hand. Beautiful finish from the Romford ball. And we were calling in the first round, Darren, for Johnny to ram home the left hand, but there he was using it in a different way as, as, as the guide, as the, as the measuring stick. Exactly, range finding with that lead hand, it was very impressive. And you see Reisinger get down and out. You see what it means to, to Johnny Fisher and his crowd. They're making some noise in here. Dad will be pleased. Dad will be pleased and relieved, no doubt about it. Well, let's get the official time then from Ladies David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Steve Gray calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, 39 seconds of round number two. Your winner by TKO. He's still undefeated. And the journey continues for the Rumford Bull, Johnny Fisher. Fisher faithful have stoked the atmosphere here with two fights still on the card. Win number six in his professional career, five of them inside the distance. That's his third win in the second round.